Yo, what's up guys? It is Cali Q here and today I want to talk about the future of the Suikoden series as well as break down a few of those TGS details that I may have missed telling you guys about when all of that information about the remasters came rolling around. Now there's a Famitsu interview going around that we have translated to English detailing a few of the new features and changes that they have made to the upcoming Suikoden 1 and 2 HD remasters. And before we even jump into it, man, I just wanna go ahead and say, I am so happy to have this new wave of information when it comes to these games. Lord knows I was crying about it for all of those months, and now I can finally bask in it and say I was wrong while waiting with you guys, all right? Good job, Konami. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the new things that we have just learned. Now, as you can see here on the screen, I might have it on here somewhere, these remasters are based on the PSP port versions of Suikoden 1 and 2. So they will exclude the things like the Sega Saturn extras that some of you guys might have come to know and like. While that is a little bit unfortunate, it is not the end of the world. And don't let the silence fool you. Apparently while we were waiting for Konami to give us any information on this, they went ahead and added some extra sauce to these remasters. They added in the fact that you can do an event player where you can review or watch certain key moments of the story in the gallery mode. And yes, there is a gallery mode where you can watch the famous scenes and look at some artwork. These type of features I love. And they've also added new illustrations to the whole package as well. This shows me that they were really putting their all into this remaster and I have to say, I took their silence as a means of them being lazy and hey, they were out here working. Also, it is confirmed that they will leave Luca Blight's dialogue unchanged. In this age of censorship and bringing things back and altering it a little bit, I am really glad that they're leaving these iconic moments the way that we remember them so that people who are brand new can experience the same shock that we experienced when we were playing the game. So kudos to Konami for leaving all Luca Blight's nastiness firmly intact. That's exactly what I want to hear. Now let's talk about the bulk and the purpose of this video. Suikoden 1 and 2 director hopes that the remasters lead to the expansion of the series. As you can see here in this interview with Takahiro Sakiyama, the IP and game director for the Suikoden series as it stands up now, he stated that he really wanted to somehow bring the Suikoden series back to the world and he can finally deliver it with 1 and 2. He also expressed hope that these releases could further expand the reach and expand the vision of the Suikoden series as a whole. And for me, that actually gives me hope. I know we've always talked about the potential of a Suikoden 6 and things like that, but with the way that they're putting the effort into these HD remasters and just the rollout now that they are properly doing, it actually does give me a glint, a glimmer of hope for the Suikoden series. Now we all know that money talks, so if you're watching this video and you're a Suikoden fan, if you're a JRPG fan and you like 2D HD or you like the classic 90s JRPG aesthetic, what are you doing? Go ahead, go pre-order these remasters right now because guys, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many videos I make, it doesn't matter how many comments we cry about, money talks. And if these HD remasters sell well, that's going to talk to the investors and that's eventually going to reach the company. We have to put our money where our mouth is. And I will say that these remasters are looking good. They have the time skip feature or the uh, fast forward feature right now, something that Eunin Chronicle was missing that was very key. And we have key members still working on these remasters as well as knowing the essence of the Suikoden series itself. I still personally would love to see Suikoden 3 through 5 remastered as well. And I feel like if we could get another Suikoden 5 on our hand, you know, allow it to breathe and cut it out from trying to be the next Suikoden 1 or 2. Man, this series still has some life left in it. Now, of course, we lost Yoshitaka Miriyama and may he rest in peace. We still have, however, key members of this team left. As you can see here, Junko Kawano is a part of Rabbit and Bear, and she's also assisting with Konami's development when it comes to the Suikoden 1 and 2 HD remasters. So there's still hope for this series as a whole. The legacy lives on. So to recap this video, Let's put our money where our mouth is. Let's 
make the Suikoden 1 and 2 HD remaster successful, especially if we want to see more games released in this vein, and to show Konami that we care. Now, they know that we care because they even mentioned it in this same interview that the passion of the fans and everyone who visited the booth during TGS showed them how beloved this series actually is. Well, in the age of where everything is coming back and anything that's possible, dreams are coming true when it comes to the gaming industry, when it comes to remasters, re-releases, people getting their favorite sequels. Guys, this is the time to support the Suikoden series. I'm going to be leaving pre-order links in my description, ways to purchase the game, and ways to support the game, as well as more information about the game if you're brand new. I wouldn't vouch for anything that I didn't believe was absolute quality, and these games are amazing, and I would love to see the franchise itself come back someday. Also, for me, it's about preserving and keeping Yoshitaka Miriyama's legacy alive, and um, there's nothing better than to appreciate his work. Thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know if you like the new updates that are listed in the video. Are you excited about the remasters? Are there some things that are bothering you? I've seen some people complaining about the visuals a little bit. Let it all be known and let it all be heard down in the comment section below. Me, however, I'm extremely excited and I'm so glad that Konami has got off their bums and started giving us some information on these titles. That is the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next video. March cannot get here fast enough.